please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update and videos in this lecture we are going to understand how to increase swap in linux we all know that swap is one type of file system which is basically used as a virtual ram for the system it provides the extra memory resources to the system when it is required and also this file system will be created manually or automatically during the installation of operating system once swap file system is created you may want to increase the swap size so there are two methods we can increase the swap size the first method is using the swap partition or also using the second one is your using swap file so in this lecture we are going to understand how we can create the swap space using swap partition so let me log in to one of my linux box and will show you how we can create a, another swap partition there are many senior scenarios in which our linux box is running out of the swap space so in that case we can either extend the swap space or we can create a, another swap partition so let's understand this i'm going to uh, log in to one of my rhl box so this is my rhl box so very first command which can be used to check the available swap space that is swap on hyphen s here you can see that i have one swap partition which is already existing on the system and it is of almost 2 gb and also we have the command that is free hyphen m this command also we can use to check out what all the space you have on the swap suppose my physical memory is almost you know 8 gb and i want to increase my swap space so in that case what i can do i can create another swap partition here so we'll understand how we can do that so first of all i need to have a partition and that partition i can use as a swap so i have the disk i know this is the disk and i am this disk i am going to create a partition suppose i need a partition of 1 gb so and i do not have any partition on that to create a partition i would be using an option n p primary default it will take 1 and here i am giving the size 1024 it is out of range so simply i am giving 1000 m now my partition has been created now if you want to see you can see that now one thing is here the id which is showing 83 now i need the id should be your swap so for that you can use t it will list all the for l list all the codes so here i need to 82 for linux swap so i would be changing it for 82 simply i am putting 82 now you can see that it has been changed id has been changed from 83 to 82 82 is for swipe space after doing this we have to you know simply save and come out so to save and come out or write the changes i have to press w here now it has been created the partition so what was the partition so that was the partition i have used simple this So this partition I have created and I am going to use this partition as my swap. So how we can use this? It's very simple. After that you have to simply use the command mkswap and then simple put this. Setting up swap space. So if you want to see if the swap has been added or not, you simply use swap on hyphen s. it is not added yet so for that i have to use one more command that is swap on and then i have to use this command so the first command which i need to use that is mk swap which will setting the swap space version and then i have to enable it for enable it i have to use swap on again i would be using the same command now you can see that the partition of 1 gb of swap has been added now so that has been activated as well and it will serve as a swap resource to the machine as well 
now if i am going to fire the command this free hyphen m you can see that swap space has been increased from 2 gb to 3 gb so it's very simple and if you want to off the swap so there is simple command swap off and then simply give the name of the swap space so swap, swap space was this one if you want to off you can do it if you want to make it permanent you have to use you have to put the entry in etc fs step file so this is my entry i would do simply you know vi etc fs step and in that file i would be adding a line very simple line i would be using at the last new set partitions and it would be something like that the name of my partition is this one and then the swap swap default 0 and 0 so this is what you have to use it come out now if you will reboot your system so what will happen your system will come up with your 3 gb of swap okay so friend that's all for this lecture in the next lecture we'll see how we can you know create the swap space using your swap file so thanks for watching and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture